As long as we're talking about this, might as well talk about post-mission before we get to the next phase, the last phase. Similarly for operational security, don't leave every waypoint on there all the time. When you're done with the mission, erase everything off the unit. If you get lost, if it gets captured in the field, and that can include it, you simply to put it in a bad pouch and it falls off, which is a whole other area to discuss, is where to carry it and how. Notice mine has a lanyard on it. The antenna needs to be facing the sky at all times. So let's say it falls off and the bad guys catch it. And even if you go, well, that's current data, who cares? You know, they know where we were today, but I'll be careful and we won't take that route next time. But what if they have the la all of your tracks and waypoints for the last two, 10 months? That's bad. You can figure out a lot from that. Erase the data every time. You'd be surprised how badly people do this. I have a friend who's... Um, and I've heard other similar stories from other people, where we're looking at data from years and years ago. From, you know, obvious actual missions. And luckily those were seen by friends of theirs or other guys in their unit. What if instead you just sold that on eBay and somebody got a hold of it? Don't think about it. We've talked already about using GPS as part of your system. So here in theory, we use the GPS alongside the compass. But I would literally doing that, do that. Remember, if you've got, if you're, think, but cast your mind back to the old days of land nav. You have a compass guy. You have a point guy who's separate and not using the compass, so he can look at the ground. You have a pace count guy, and in theory, you have a backup compass and a backup pace count. Where's the GPS? Me, I say it's with the GPS guy. That might be not the, might very well not be the commander. It might be in our future technology era. But you got a lot of guys in your unit. Assign things the same way. Pace count. Now he might think he's backup, but he's not. Remember? What if this thing is giving you trouble? You confirm everything by checking the compass, the pace count. When you go look at, say, a waypoint, you have your plan in mind anyway, but even in the field, the most of them have these nice convenient systems. Or, for example, you go, I want to go to that waypoint. We're going straight there. It's 194 degrees, and it's six-tenths of a mile. So you tell compass and waypoint guy to set us a route over there. And if you think it's easier to sight on a GPS and figure out where you're going versus a compass, especially my ranger here I like with its nice, convenient sighting system, then you're wrong. Figuring out which tree you're going to head at in the dark, dark forest, or which mountain top you're going to peak, is much easier still with a, with the mechanical compass. So you can use that as a nice cheat for mapping, but you use that to actually get there. As I did mention, eh, maybe the commander takes the nice toy, especially if he's in, say, a striker with its nice new battle suite of electronics. I discourage that myself. Just like the point man, as we said, isn't burdened with the compass, because he's trying to keep you on the trail and look around and make sure nobody's up ahead and can stop tripwires, the commander should not be burdened by his technology either. He can refer to it as he needs to, but he should actually be doing his commanding job. He can glance at things, he can look around, he can relay orders, he can take notes, he can do whatever. But actually, if you're spending any measurable percentage of your time actually managing this, like punching into waypoints and pushing buttons and trying to read things, then you're doing it wrong, and you need to get a sign somebody else to use the GPS. Managing, speaking of managing it, I did forget one thing for post-mission. It's okay to keep data when you keep it. So you don't just have to purge everything off the unit. You can get a lot of information that maybe the rest of your MI guys aren't giving you anyway, you keep all your data off on your PC, you can look at the old tracks. They have dates and times, as well as locations and velocities, and you can use that for further planning. You can go, weren't we over there six months ago? Look, scroll over there to the map, look at what happened. If you just set up waypoints in the field and go ambush here, you can start getting your own patterns of stuff, and that can be useful. So, <clears throat> download everything to your computer and keep it for as long as you can. And of course, purge the computer before you get, it gets thrown in a dump in the middle of a foreign country. And then, be sure to practice. 
just like you should take your guys out in the field and you practice with the compass, with the pace speeds, with using maps, with radio procedure, with changing the oil on their vehicles, with changing tires under fire. Practice with this thing. And if it's not unit practice, if it's your own personally owned little unit like this thing, and you have to just do it at home or loan it to ever, the guy who in your unit is going to be borrowing it from you, do that. Come up with plans for training. Walk someplace. Use your pace count to confirm that you understand how distance measuring works in the GPS unit. Use track recording functions. Do, a, do specific tasks using the GPS to assist you. Do a box search of an area and use it to tell to uh, make sure that you're actually covering the area completely. When you're doing normal other exercises, use your GPS. Do stuff. Even if it's just a uh, road march in tennis shoes and nobody gets mad at you for bringing stuff along, bring your GPS with you and set hasty waypoints. Like firing under, like uh, trying to fire a rifle under stress after you're all uh, worn out from a 10 mile march of the pack. See how easy it is to push the buttons on this thing and make sense of the display when you're at a dead run and sweating into your eyes. And otherwise, know your, as we've said before, and I'll say again, know your device, understand the principles of navigation, and know how to use them all together.